I'm gonna try not to yawn too much. I've had my coffee today. Yeah, I, I super caffeinated for this. I was like, I need, I need to be on on energy for this. Yeah, I even slept in an hour. Come on. Yeah, right. right please, body, just cooperate for once. I, I right? really appreciate it. <laughs> I would like it if my body would uh, cooperate with me <laughs> just this once. Yeah. Just one deck gum time. <laughs> and the body's like, how many times have you just said just one time? Yeah, yeah. And it's never just one time. <laughs> <laughs> like, we've been counting. <laughs> how old are you now? Yeah. Re yeah. You're reaching your 30s? It's, like, uh, hey, fucking it's, it's been a while since I, you know, since college, right? I, I, I know I asked a lot for in college for a lot of, a lot of all-nighters and stuff, but it, I, I work now and I don't, I don't do this very often. I don't kill myself that much anymore. <laughs> Right? Oh gosh, college age, all the all nighters, and not even God. doing work, just binging like games or binging series. That's what I used my all nighters for. Oh yeah. Well, it's like I, I think back now, and I, I have that thing where, like, I, I multitask a lot, which means I'm easily distracted, obviously. So it's very hard to focus yeah. on like studying. So I ended, uh -huh. I ended up studying, you know, starting at like nine or ten p.m. because it was after kind of all the distractions went away. Yeah. Oh my like, god, I just never slept, did I? Like Jesus. <laughs> it's wild. Right? That's why I liked having all the late classes. Yeah. Uh my one of my worst things that I ever allowed to have happen was that I allowed someone else to schedule me for the first two semesters of college. Oh yeah. And they, they were the a bunch of morning easiest classes. Morning classes and also the, the easiest fucking shit. I had so much free time on my hands, I didn't know what to do oh. with myself. And I only had 12 hours. Yep. So I took that and then started picking up more hours and uh, going into like 18 hours and all, all the hard as shit classes. Mm -hmm, 18 mm -hmm. hours of work fucked me over. I should have been doing like 18 hours when I was in my freshman year. Right. And then backed off in the, in the senior year and maybe I wouldn't have had a meltdown. Yeah. Yeah. No joke. <sighs> yeah. That's like... Uh, I I, I try that? to get better about doing like you know Tuesday Thursday classes and doing like all on those days or something to where I didn't have to be there every single day kind of deal. And then mm -hmm. senior year we have like a senior required class for for our program like a kind of like a capstone senior project kind of class. Yeah. And it was like this class is only offered at 8 a.m. on Fridays to make sure it fits everybody's schedule. It's like go why That's so why did stupid. you do this to me? And I was I just went to the yeah. class and I'd go to it because it was like seven or eight it was something super early. Uh -huh. And then I'd go to that, and I'd go back home and go back to bed. <laughs> this is the worst, oh, and I God. hate it. I hate it. That's the worst. But it, it had to fit. Everybody had to take it, so everybody had to fit in the schedule. And they're like, "We're just going to do Friday early because no one does. No one does that to themselves." It's like, well, uh -huh. for except good for reason. you guys, because you force us to. Yeah, exactly. It's like for uh -huh. good reason. Jeez. Yeah. I had one class that started at seven thirty, and I was like, "Never again." <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that shit's the worst. We had. A, I love you, a... Mrs. Perk. However. <laughs> Uh, we had like a um, like a music and films course um, mm -hmm. at like 8 a.m. and it was like how do you how are we staying awake for this you know it was super mm -hmm. early it was like no this is terrible this is th it, was, it may have even been earlier than eight but it was early and it was like you know 400 of us or some shit in like a big theater like watching films with in like the music and it's like it's in a dark room how can we stay right. awake for this this is terrible. Um, uh, I don't miss that. I don't miss that at all. Oh, me either. You know the classes that I hated the most? What's that? The classes that require you to read like 10 journals and like maybe one or two books every single week. Yeah. And then add on top of that all of your research you have to do for your topic papers. Oh, yeah. Because I was a history minor and like, uh, a international area studies major and fucking this one <laughs> glass mm -hmm. thought it was a capstone and it wasn't i was taking my capstone at the same time so i know the work level i had less work to do for my fucking capstone than i had to do for this <laughs> one class that about sucks. religion and politics in the middle east Jeez. fuck him <laughs> that sounds awful that sounds terrible I was so tired all the time, and I thought my eye was melting out of my brain because I got battery acid in it at one point. 
Natasha, what's up? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. What's up? Hi. Special guest today. Woo woo. Hell yeah. <laughs> I am so hungry right now. I don't know why. I shouldn't be hungry. Did you eat lunch? You know, now that you're talking about it, uh, I forgot. <laughs> well, yeah, that would do it. That would do it. That would uh, that would probably do it. I would say. Yeah, yeah. Considering. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna power through. Yeah. I am very hopeful that. How far? We, I think we got halfway last time. I'm hoping we can finish this today. Yeah. Yeah, we'll finish it. No worries. We got so, this. Let me see if I There's hit. There's like two more continue. days. We're. We are day two trial ladder. Yeah. Okay, day two trial ladder. So we still like, oh, there's still a lot. Yeah. I think we're Look the, out. I there's think we plenty finished. for a second. Yeah. yeah. I think we finished the trial ladder and now it's T2 investigation to finish out. We still have days three and four though, which is a little daunting, I would oh, say. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we, we'll do it, we'll do it. There's plenty of content for today's stream. Oh, Let's yeah. look at it that way. Oh yeah, no doubt. No, that's, oh, either we'll, you know, we'll see how I'll, anyway, hopefully we'll finish today. If not, we may have to do it another one later. We'll find out, I guess. Oh well. Uh, next time on Yeah. the Alex's stream. <laughs> nice, Natasha. Yeah, yeah, I saw Pang with rats. That's fun. Yeah. Got, yeah. got a snake. Natasha's got, like, so many animals. So many animals. Oh, I remember! Yeah! Like a zoo in your room. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm up to four cats now. That's a new development. Oh, my, my goodness. Life. Uh, how did introducing them go? Because. Uh, I, I just recently, uh, last time we talked, mm -hmm. I was still living with my dad, and now I'm living with my girlfriend. Yeah, uh, nice. <laughs> thanks for the, or not thanks, like, congratulations on the move out. I saw the, the Thank post you. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we're, we have been introducing our two cats to each other this mm -hmm. weekend, mm -hmm. and it's been going interestingly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because like I, so I, I previously had obviously three, and then uh, but it was one male and two females, and so another female. So I've now I've got one male and three females. Uh, the male, uh, I, I think yesterday was two weeks that I'd had the new kitten, or two or three weeks, something like that. I'm losing track of time already, but um, the males like totally fine with it, doesn't care, like they play and chase each other and all that kind of stuff. The two females like they don't, they stopped hissing at her, but if she gets too close, they slap at her. So they, they, they're Aww. still not about it. They don't really don't play with her. But yeah. the kitten does not give a shit. She owns the house. She can go wherever she wants. And, uh, naturally. She'll chase naturally. anybody, everybody. She, she does, she's not daunted whatsoever. So it's been As great. As kitten does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like my Hermione. Hermione is about a year and a half right now. And she does not know the concept of boundaries. And my girlfriend's cat, Angel has very strong and strict boundaries with regards to her and her owner's room. Mm. And so we've been trying to keep Hermione from going in there. Mm -hmm. And she does not listen to us when we tell her, no, don't do that. No, <laughs> stop. Clap, clap, clap. Don't do that. Right. And she just barrel rushes us into that room. And she do like dove under the bed right where Angel was. And Angel went, rah! <laughs> and then hiss and then slap 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 and it's like <laughs> Hermione was traumatized <laughs> I had to carry her back upstairs and like cuddle her for like half an hour oh. she's like uh, why don't you love me I'm adorable <laughs> poor thing a Angel just doesn't like other cats necessarily it takes her a bit <laughs> Oh, late. It's like eight or something right now. She's like eight or something right now. Oh, that's okay. Uh, she's like eight or something right now. Yeah. And she lived with another cat who was a lot meaner than Hermione is. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I'm hoping they get along after 
Because everything else has been going great except for that one sort of like encounter. Everything else has been fine. Hell yeah! Nice. Is this the one Hell yeah! Damon? You know every actor isn't Matt Damon, right? Shh. Starting. Welcome to the cinema. No mobile phones. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Oh no, you show. had this intro. I do remember it. Hell yeah! Nice. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> That's fair. I, I would do the same in cooperative games. There you go. Hell yeah! Just cheering your, each other on. Just being each other's hype man. Yeah! Teamwork makes the dream work. Hell yeah. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, that... I love that. Yeah, she's just... She's just being like, Kohana means family. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Shit muted. What's up? When did I mute that? Oh no. That's a really good question. You are muted? For a oh, little no. bit of that. They okay, I, I know what all? I did. Oh. I know what I did. Okay. I had it muted during part of that. Thank you, Purple. Oh, Bottom. interesting. Thank uh, you. I went to, when I went to do the light change, I muted it for a moment and I forgot to unmute it. Oh, rip. Anyway, what's... Welcome to stream. We're here today with the lovely game catcher. We're going to do some voices and play some uh, hey. Ace Attorney. We may or may not finish it today. I, I would love to, but honestly, there's a lot left. I did not realize how much was left. So we were going to find out. Uh, Cat Cam, Hosh is now here chilling at his spot. He likes to sit on top of that for whatever reason. He just hangs out. Uh-huh. He's, He's just like, this is my this is my throne. Yeah. My pedestal. Worship me. Pretty much. He's just very statuesque. <laughs> he just likes to chill right there. In the middle of everything. <laughs> um, and like I said, I put together the new cat tree thing with like a, like a wheel on it. I, it's a little bit smaller than I expected, so it's more like for the kitten more than it is the other ones, but they really haven't figured it out yet. We'll see. We'll see what they, uh, what they think about it, maybe. But... Mm -hmm. um, Fun. Any donations that say cat treats, or, or you can redeem channel points either way, uh, we'll give cat treats. So just FYI to chat. Mm -hmm. And love on those babies. Absolutely, absolutely. With that, uh, I guess we'll jump back in. Uh, so we were in the middle of episode five. Mm -hmm. There's four days. We're at the end of. I say the end. We're more like two thirds of the way through day two. So. I don't know that we'll finish this today. We're going to try, though. We're going to see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We're going to do our best. We have cornered Sexy Lady. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Sexy the lunch uh, lady. The lunch lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Man, I don't have to be sexy anymore, probably, hopefully. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> I mean, that's like your trade, so let's be real here. I mean, that is true. I'm, I just finished reading an erotica, and now I'm starting a new one. Nice. Yeah, this one I get paid like 150 bucks per finished hour. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. looking forward to that paycheck. Very cool, very cool. You looked at some of the requirements of that stuff, and I was like, man, that's a that's a it's a lot to get into all that. I'm like, I don't have time for this right now. <laughs> it is a lot. It is a lot, especially if you're doing the editing. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see that too. Yeah, yeah, like. Uh, you get the 20 percent royalty on the lifetime of something though. It. Hmm. That's world is pretty cool. That's pretty good. You there? You cut out? Oh boy. 
Hello? Where'd she go? Hold up. There she is. No. Ish. Am I back? Am I dead? There, there, she's Am there. I alive? There, there you are. Yep. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Panic. Oh boy. Bodes okay, well for back. the stream. Look, can't wait. Right. It's gonna be great. Lovely. Oh no. <laughs> okay. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be fine. Good. It's gonna be good, 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 great. Fine. We're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna hit go. <laughs> And yes. uh, let's start. Without further ado. February 23rd, 11.56 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Cool. Um, Mr. Wright? <laughs> I was have to get like... <laughs> huh? No, this is me. Hold what? on. Hold on. <laughs> ah, what? It's just, it's just me yelling. Gotta get your a head lot. in the game. Get... Right? <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of yelling. Uh, what? Are trials always like this with you? You know, the incompetence? Like you're swimming up the, from the bottom of a lake, about to reach the surface, and then someone like grabs your head and shoves you back under? But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there? Ah, yes. Much women tell me about this. Uh, pretty much, uh. I'm pro Helena. What's up, Alex? Uh, except today we're swimming in, uh, in quicksand. So, uh, what happened to your sister, anyway? Apparently, she got called to off to the judges' chambers. Ah, probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So, this is where we turn this trial around, right? Our only weapon. A tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant to tell the truth. Not, not great. Oh my goodness, but your shoulders. Uh, hola. <laughs> oh, it's, is it this dude again? The, the Western dude? dude? The, hola, yeah, partner. Yeah, the one who has the murder weapon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. They say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a youngin, at least. Officer Marshall! Thought I'd come take a look see at how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. Just like my yeah. girlfriend, she's late too. They've got the home oh. ranch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. That hard to slip <laughs> out, huh? Also what she said. Anyway, what is going on over there anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. A knife edge, like that one you're using to shave your face with. A very suspicious looking knife. Yeah, right, the murder weapon. <laughs> Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about that chief, the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. And I mean, aren't you wearing a kerchief? That's a scarf. <laughs> and she wasn't even wearing a scarf. But you are. That's a kerchief. Did you bring a flask in here? <laughs> you don't yeah. say. I don't. That, that just beat all. Huh? <laughs> I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw it that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the war ceremony that afternoon, Edgeworth seen it, too, I reckon. What is What does that mean? Like, what? What? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. What happened to the scarf? Probably she left it at home. <laughs> so, Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Or was she? Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will too. <laughs> uh, got a bad feeling about this. Never tell me the odds. 
Star Wars quote. Anyway, moving on. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? <laughs> <laughs> if it's steak sauce, I could hook you up with some fine ribs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are they pork ribs or? February 23rd, 1232 p.m. District Court, courtroom number, number nine. I can talk sometimes. Courtroom number nine. Mamba. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to resume. Why is that a question? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Who put a question mark on the teleprompter? <laughs> you know, people like read anything resume? that's on there. <laughs> uh, <anyway>. Literally. <laughs> uh, what's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue. Your lips are purple. You're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused. You're doubled over. Your back is bent. From the weight of carrying this investigation. Oh, it can't be. This can't happen. Oh. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, well then, I believe it is time we continued on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is... Uh, oh, this is unacceptable. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it, it seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh, excuse me, knock knock. I don't know who this is yet. Uh, who who's there? <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Am I right? <laughs> oh jeez, this guy. <laughs> I remember him. What's with this guy? Huh? Who, who's this guy? Huh? Hey, guy. Oh, what an asshole. The strange uh, stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. I don't have a voice for this guy yet either. Uh-oh, you there? You drop out again? Uh-oh. We having difficulties again? Where'd she go? Maybe? Here. There she is. I'm right here. There we go. Ah! <laughs> it never dropped from my end. I don't know what's going on. Very strange. Quite, quite strange. What a phenomenon! <laughs> Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. You just carry it's like a... everyone's hot about him or something. You just carry a thermometer on you or what? Like. I know it in my brain. 5.7. All right, dude. Did you know that these are Google glasses? <laughs> we have the same brand. Who on earth is he? Uh, who, who's this guy? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> who can it be? Oh, it, it's you. Somebody say his name. Anybody, anybody at all know this guy's name? Somebody say Wow, it. who could it be? I still don't know what voice to do for this guy yet. I, I... Uh, just make him an asshole. Just make him an absolute dick. Like a snazzy, fashionable dick. Uh, you know what this sounds like? Oh, <laughs> there you go. Sorry I'm late, OG. The roads were packed, it's just me. Long time no see, uh, Edgy? How you been? Swim much these days? Ha! <laughs> uh, 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 hello, That's a reference hello. to the trial where he was prosecuted in. Oh, no, I, I've been so busy. <laughs> busy? Busy smizzy, OG. My boy, you have to time, make time to relax. Uh, y yes, in indeed. Edgy seems to be his nickname for the judge? That's so That's dumb. Like, oh, his name is Judge, huh? Like, really? Uh, I'm afraid you're right. Uh, very afraid. I'm scared. Somebody, mom. Does the judge not have a life mom? outside of his job, or what? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, who are you? Who, who, who are you? 
Ah, you're so right -o. The attorney, I've heard good things about you, son. My voice is changing, and I apologize. I don't know what the hell to do with that guy. You're yet. good. You're doing good. Uh, 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 thanks. I'm trying to. Oh, so sorry about your little worthy after giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. L little worthy? What, Edgeworth? What the hell's going on over here? Mr. Wright. You don't know the district chief of police? Oh. There we go. Ch Ch chief of police? Oh! He's the top ranking police officer in the entire district. <laughs> he just looks so <laughs> smug. The name's Gat, Damon Gat. I'm pleased to meet you, everyone. So, uh, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, uh, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at that poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this, the evidence. I love that he's, like, Spanish now. <laughs> My sister's muffler! So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. Hmm. When the crime occurred, Miss Guy really was wearing that muffler. Why does this or do that? She? What do you think? That it was stuffed in that exhaust pipe? I'm just gonna keep fluctuating on this voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, it's fine. It's, it's, it's too funny. On Little Woody's car, no less. <laughs> The, the awkward pauses are so bizarre. Right? It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. Watch this. It's what you call a switchblade knife. It's quite perplexing, this. Objection. Oh, Chief. <laughs> what kind of outfit are you running? <laughs> and that orange? Oh, my God. Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? Oh. If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Uh, now, wait. the oh, fuck. Now, wait a minute, what? Worthy. I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Oh, didn't you hear me? Oh. Have a look at this document, where it says a person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature is, is there. Miles Edgeworth. Oh, that's not fair. On the day of the crime, I had... You had in the clouds because you got that award. Fuck, that was a different voice entirely. I <laughs> am not... Wow. That's You're doing fine. You're doing great. <laughs> I know how you feel. I love how for a while he sounded exactly like Zevran from Dragon Age. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, now he's getting sexy. Okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. I keep, like, in my head going back to Frenchie from The Boys. Mm -hmm. And then I, I somehow like, end up, like, slipping into, like, some form of like Spanish or British or something, and I'm like, oh, this, yeah. is, getting, this is getting worse. <laughs> but you're in charge. I like the, the Spanish on him. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> now I have to figure out which one that one is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This is... This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh! The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Just the swing away of the mic. <laughs> Got to. That voice is strictly yelling at all times. Just just to be sure. 
I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife, which Detective <laughs> Marshall has been shaving with. <laughs> blade, Your Honor, I don't, I don't see why not. I mean, sure, you're the, you're the judge and stuff, like... Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, I think all I have to do is push that switch and- OH SHIT! <laughs> if I- You good? Oh no, what we is, lost him! What is happening here? If I cut <laughs> my finger, Mr. Right, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore, and we all know I love pounding. Hey. Yeah, but, uh, if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at people anymore. Like that one emote that Lost Knights has. The one where he points. My finger points. Hey. Come on, just hurry up and open it. Yo, controller, you want to chill out or is it doing for me? It did it for- uh, Yeah, I didn't touch apparently. anything! <laughs> How so rude! Bizarre. Uh, hold on, I have to, I have to push the, the button, I guess. You. I know, right? Yeah. Ah, don't scare me like that! Oh shit, it's broken? Hello? Yeah. I'm the one that was scared. I was the one on it. That's just scary, okay? Oh my god! Look at this knife blade! The tip is broken off! Just the tip. And this dark red thing. At my age, no less! Could it perhaps be blood? Or strawberry jam? <laughs> They're making sandwich. Delicious. I didn't have lunch today. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the crime scene writes in the de defendant's muffler. Small tag attached. <laughs> it's a price tag. Oh, this does not excuse the actions of the police department. Oh, oh. I would oh. like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us about the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife, which I am now holding? Uh, sure, sure thing. Uh, not a problem. Not even a little one, really. It's going to lean into it now. <laughs> Do it. Okay. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department. See, uh, what a mess. The time of the crime? Uh, 5 at 15. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. Hmm. <laughs> His eyes kill me. There. <laughs> There was a murder at the police department? A detective? Oh That's all source information. Oh, gee, uh, we haven't exactly announced it yet. Objection! Objection. Oh, wait a second. You said 515. That's the exact time the Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Gasp. The plot oh, thickens. Oh, oh, oh. Order, order, order. Oh, anyway, we at the department were all uh, flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top, top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? Don't uh, tell anyone except everyone in this yeah, audience. Yeah, like, everyone here, don't say a word, please. Thank you. I no think cameras. we understand the police department's situation. Well, Mr. Wright. Two detectives kill at the same time in two different places. The chances of that are really slim. Scientifically speaking, of course. At your age, no less. <laughs> I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand and not the other top secret one that we shouldn't know about. Okay. Yeah, he just let that one slip. Yeah, right? Uh, okay. Let's see. So, let's see if we...
present Goodman on a second statement. Okay, okay the uh, connection between his knife and Goodman. So if we present the muffler, maybe, because it was wrapped in the muffler that was in the exhaust at the scene of Goodman's murder. So we have this. If you read it upside down, you'll see it says SL9. The name, the same as the tag on the switchblade knife. Yo, seriously? Do we need to examine the switchblade? SL9-2. All right. Interesting. There's a small tag on the knife. It, it says, says SL9-2. Oh, What's that supposed to mean? Hell if I know. I'm not sure, but it reminds me of a similar code. DL6. Maybe it's a case number? Huh. Weird. That's weird. What? That's extremely weird. I don't remember where. But I think I've seen something like this before. Something similar to what's written on this tag. I must investigate with my Google Glasses. It wasn't that long ago either. Then spit it and say it. Say what it was. Maybe I should check the court record again. See if it's on that note that I just looked at. Out of order. Of or course. I could just tell you. Right? Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> Alright, no extra dialogue here. So let's just present this and that should be... Objection. Objection. Wait a second. Hold up there. At last, an honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? <laughs> An honest to goodness, what do you mean from Oji? This is great. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Get to the fucking point. Over here, we also have a memo that was on the bottom of body of the victim. The it was of... on the bottom of the victim. Thank you. Uh, yes. 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 At his age, no less. <laughs> uh, what's this? Six minus seven s, twelve slash two. Is this math? I don't like math. Your Honor, it's upside down. Stranger Things. Have happened. Oh. It's in season four now. <laughs> and it should have stopped a long time ago. Anyway, uh, upside. <laughs> I didn't know there was a season three. I was really surprised. <laughs> oh, this shit's still going? We still <laughs> like, really? upside down? They? Like, <laughs> what? They're in Russia now? What's happening? Are th did they actually go to Russia? They sure did. I, I need to I need to catch up or something. It's been a while. Yeah, they're it's been like, a while. <laughs> since I've been. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, the printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? Oh, that's what it's I, all about. There's a song. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Oh. <laughs> Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. Uh, SL9, that's the same thing as that's written on the knife's tag. Oh, oh my god. Oh. What a revelation. My heart. <laughs> uh, order. Or, well, uh, chief. Ah, uh, well. Uh, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Uh, you win, right, though? I win? Uh, what game is this guy playing? Like, we're still halfway through this chapter. I mean, breaking the fourth wall, what? Parcheesi? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. The detective was killed at the police department. See what they miss. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, go back. Go back. One. This bad day. We're in shape to the investigation. And I think I just case. remembered it's how this all ends. We press. <laughs> press the one. So this knife 
was stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder. Not. Yo, Creature Vex, what's up? Welcome up. Hello. Oh, it was evidence, you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Oh. It nice, like nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since resolved. Solved? Solved? I almost said resolved, and I was like, it's not the word. Easy now, <laughs> you, did say you it. big dickhead. I forgot I added that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was bad. Mm. So this bag <laughs> was stolen on the day of the murder. And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. Hard to think there isn't a connection there. Coincidence? I think not. Okay. Press this four statement. Third statement on the Switch, PS4, and Xbox Trilogy. What did it come? What's... Dude, I forgot I added that one, too. If you find all these new ones that I added, I forgot I even did. Uh, oh, let's see. Nice. If we press... All right. He's now here to just sort of burn all of his channel points. Basically. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, let's press him on this one. Something happened at the police department, too, huh? You got a look in your eyes there, right, though, my boy. Sharp, hungry. Oh, so? Like oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so something did happen. And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? Oh. <laughs> no matter, I understand. You were busy, what with Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? Uh, what does it say? Oh, here we go. This one. This one I meant to do. On the same day the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a double kill. That's double. Du two detectives! <laughs> What a kill streak! <laughs> One more for UAV. That's a fact. A surprising, isn't it, Oji? I'm at a loss for words. It's it's saying. One of people have major side effects of pressing the that lower blood pressure. That sucks. Never good to be unique oh. when it comes to uh, that kind of stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and the perpetrator. Do you have a suspect? Well, there there was a suspect. They just arrested him, in fact. Uh, just arrested? Boy, that was quick. I already made this joke before, but like with me, with women. Anyway. <laughs> At your age, no less? <laughs> My age, no less. I need pills. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, all right, though. I suppose I could help. If you help me by giving me your data on this case, huh? Ah. Or data on your case, my bad. It's, it's give me data on your case. Got it. Oh, good one. Yeah. This kid's is sharp. Like a knife, like the murder weapon. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you <laughs> one thing and it. one thing only. Uh. Uh. So tell me, where was the victim? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. But you just said. That's the one thing. That's the one, That's the one thing. thing. The one you thing. just said. <laughs> <laughs> but I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. So they killed him, stole the knife, planted it at the car in the muffler. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is all looking like a setup to me. Gasp. Egad. Egad. The evidence room. Wait a second. I'll have to have that extra pause there for the light bulb. I've heard of it. <laughs> I've heard of the evidence room. I was like, what, shot at there in the last case or something? By oh, Van yeah? Buren or whatever the hell his name was. 
Oh, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> it's more it, Van Buren was like a real life thing, right? I don't remember what his name was. Van something. Mm. <laughs> the evidence room in red. <laughs> Mentioned that in his testimony just now? Right. We all we were all here for this. We it was like ten seconds ago. Thank you so much, video game. The evidence. It was. Uh, pull, pull me by the hand say? to this, this this conclusion. There's the connection between the two cases we found. Wow. Oh my god. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Wow. Happy? I've never been happy. We just got handed our ticket to the go to, to town on this case. I haven't been to town or anything in a long time. Blame between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now, we can get Gant to testify about the details. Okay. Uh. So that was the fourth. I'm going to press... Let's see if it's this one. Chief, the defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. It was the knife, my guy. Eh, hey, you don't say. Well, out with it, right? What's your connection? Yes, out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Oh, not to mention the victim had on him the case number on the knife's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. Indeed, uh, there do seem to be too many connections for it to be coincidence. <laughs> that stare <laughs> yeah, is right? so bizarre. Just, it it like that's a programmed in to just stare for like three seconds. It really is the the, the very deliberate blanks too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deduce right here. Oh, chief! I request that you release your information on the victim at the police department. Oh, see, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet, then though. Can we get the information unofficially? Uh, perhaps. Sure, why not? It is unofficial after all. What? Unofficial in a court case. Really? Oh, who could? Who would have guessed? Not me. Not I me. mean. If it's going into a court record, it's official either way. Very bizarre. I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? Two detectives were killed at 515. One in the prosecutor's office and one in the police department. That can't be a coincidence. Can't be. And that knife! What was it doing there? I better check this knife out. This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in a ship to do Oh, it's back to his thing again. What do I have to do now? Uh. Can't. This knife is evidence. It's stolen from the department. What does he say about. That was a bad day. It was killed. Scary coincidence. This one. If you're gonna tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Even though we just said we do it unofficially. Like, okay. But why not? What? Why not? Just fuck around. Why, why not? not? Why not? Might as well. Ah, well, the case information is a sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh, well, I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of them. Uh, the ID number? Yeah, why not? Okay, how about you tell me the victim's ID number? 
Uh, sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. I mean, you will tell me their name after all. I mean, you know, but their, their ID number doesn't ID them. By right, somehow. Right? In a way. Right? We keep a tight lid on ID numbers so you don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... 69. Oh, no way. Hey -oh. 5842189. Well, that's quite long. That's more than I can count, to be honest. I'm not very smart. Aww. <laughs> oh, man. Poor old man. We have to remember these. It drives me nuts. Eight, two, uh, I can't do it. Oh my gosh, Jaji. You didn't even get the first number right. It even, not even the first one. We're even close. Well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you literally anything? I don't even remember what the number was now, to be honest. The ID number of the Vegemetha Police Department, 5842189. This tells me something. I don't know what that something is yet. We're about to find out. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It actually does. I think. Maybe. Perhaps. Er, meaning? It has to be what I think it is. It doesn't have to be, but it, it probably will be. But it doesn't have to be, because that'd be weird. What do you think it is? But what does this mean? Phoenix, what are you thinking of? <laughs> yeah, like, come on, game. Just, just tell us. Say it! Just say it! Just say, say it! it. <laughs> say his name! Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. You say the idea number of the detective who was murdered at the police station tells you something. And what does it tell you? Ah. Uh, Oh, it's this oh, maybe one. maybe the driver's license? Yeah. It's literally, uh, it's Goodman. Literally. It's, literally. It's Goodman. It's the same crime. It's the si same crime. What the fuck? Uh-huh. Right? But like, Someone's setting it up. What? Take that. Take that. <sighs> Witness. Witness me. <laughs> What is it, Mr. Wright? Stop, stop with this. St please, tell us. You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. But then uh, she was crying later. Anyway. No, uh, it's just I got confused. What? Please don't say you got confused. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? Ah! <laughs> But look at the description first. Did I, did I not look at the description? I guess I'm. Oh, screw, fuck me. Oh, really? And, and this is news. Ah. Oh, just come out with both guns blazing like you always do. The police department, prosecutor's office, two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here that I picked up off the ground illegally and should not be considered evidence because I didn't submit it. Just to be fair. However. <laughs> However. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But, oh, is it yours? <laughs> no, no, your honor. I'm a defense attorney, remember? Here's my defense attorney badge that I carry with me at all times. <laughs> Literally, all times. Literally. <laughs> Even into the bathroom. This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, right, though. Personal IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 5842189. And this means what exactly? Huh? Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier. 
That started with 8-2. Uh, I forgot. You didn't even Judge! get the first number right again! Come on! You're this close! Just missed it. The number the chief of police gave us was 58421. It's the same number, is what I'm trying to say. The same number. Come on! Oh, wait a second, Ryan. Oh, what does this mean? Oh. It means Goodman wasn't killed in the parking lot at the prosecutor's office. It means he was killed in the evidence room. Jesus, spoiler Unless. alert. Uh, <laughs> mean? I'm just That's what get I want to know. <laughs> we all know! We're all in the room like, we know it's a... What, what does this mean? What do we mean? We all know it's not... <laughs> just say it already. Just say it. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. And the reason he was in the trunk of Edward's car is because he was being brought there so they could set up a new murder scene. Gasp. What ah! does our witness think about that? Eh, ah, I want to know too. None of us know anything. Oh ho ho! <laughs> sharp as a deck, oh, right though, but the sharp as a deck. Oh fuck! But, but wait, so Detective Goodman is our victim. We got, we claimed him first. <laughs> he was killed at five fifteen in the underground parking lot. Strange. Yeah, Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department in the evidence room at the same time. With a candlestick. Whoa! Actually, it was the knife? Question mark? I don't know. Oh, that's impossible. So what you were saying is, the same person was killed at the same time? And in a completely different location. How could this be possible? It can't. Exactly. Time travel! Gasp! <laughs> <laughs> order, order, something, something. Oh, no, what I want to know is why didn't I hear about this? Oh, yes, it's a top secret, fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case! Oh. And now, just just wait a second, Worthy. Uh, no need to get all flustered. <laughs> Your Honor. It's an inside job all along. Gasp. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said, wait. Or oh, didn't you hear me? You, you, yeah, we heard, you just said it. You just, nothing else happened, like, yeah, we're good. Oh. Question mark? No exclamation mark? <laughs> the oversight, the grave error. Mr. Edgeworth. They're yours. What? Oh, what? How, how dare? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Just hoping you delivered that. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we informed you yesterday. I believe it was our officer Mikins who brought you the news. That glare. Too. Oh, officer oh, Mikins, Mr. Meesings. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Wright, where have we heard that name before? I believe it was the name of a badger. Perhaps a purple one? He was a uh, novice or whatever. Wait! Aha! Oh god, what did I give this throat. guy's voice? Me seeks? I I guess? Yeah, Meekins? Yeah, like, I don't remember what, I guess I did the, the Meeseeks voice? Mr. Yeah. Meeseeks, look at me! Um. He definitely gives that vibe. Right, excuse me, but this is Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir! Got your report, sir! Oh, you don't mean him? According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. Oh, but your officer, he told me. Oh, he said that report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. 
Detective Bruce Goodman murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. Oh, shit. Why didn't he didn't you even look tell at your it. officer? Why didn't, he, why didn't you tell me? Oh. I'm too Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. Yeah, Edgeworth's too rich to read. Like, why didn't he read it for <laughs> me? What? He did seem challenged. Wow, that's super insensitive. Wow. That, how ableist of you, Emma. Yeah, like, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 little girl, get the hell out. I'm already going to college at my age, and no less. Like, and rejected. All right, see ya. <laughs> Ouch. It's like that tweet about, like, I'm working at NASA. It's like, maybe chill at your language. I'll do the fuck I want. And you're no longer right. working at NASA. Exactly. Like, get wrecked. In any case, this is a serious error, a gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. Objection! Oh, but, but sir, oh. You could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... Oh my god. Oh my god. You have to stop. You have to stop. <laughs> the slow stare. I, it's just... And no such luck this time, worthy, or should I say, unworthy. What? <laughs> Bam! Oh! Now, what was the second rule of evidence law? Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright, what's the law that we break all the time? Huh? Oh, <laughs> well, it's, uh... Oh, rule two, unregistered evidence. Presenting must be relevant to the case on trial. And how is that this rule relevant? Normally, you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. Nor was the ID that I flashed a minute ago, but, you know, who cares, I guess? Right. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. Oh! The connection was just proven by Raito over here. Good job, Raito, my boy. Yay. You're ah! a good boy. Uh, I, I was just doing my job. <laughs> Kink activated. Oh, no, no! Oh. Kink activated? What? What? <laughs> Hey, good boy. And oh, he said good. Fun. Okay, I gotcha. Like, ooh. All right. <laughs> it, it seems we have come to the end of this trial. I I know you are going through a tough time, Worthy. What with all those rumors? You were even in the defendant's chair just this past December. Oh, I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. Uh, M Mr. Edgeworth, oh, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened if it's the last thing I do. Oh. You'd better get results this time, oh, really. Oh, you have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I found that very hard to believe. Very hard to believe. Based on the past trials. Mm -hmm. I will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Oh. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. So you self flagellate out in the fucking front of the courthouse. <laughs> oh no. Shame. Shame. Uh, very <laughs> well. The Ring the bell out. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. Shame. Court is adjourned. What the fuck? What, what, what just happened? I mean, to be continued. What do you, what do you fucking mean to be continued? What? We're going into day three. Woo! Saving. Save slot three, baby. Hey. Ninja, what's up, my friend? How are you today? Hey, all. 
February 23rd, 2.15 p.m. Wright and Company Law Offices. Huh. So, um, uh, Mr. Wright? So, uh... What's going on with the case anyway? Like, beats me! <laughs> right? I... I'm a little confused. All of us, too. Huh? <laughs> well, uh, uh, let's see, uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, I, I don't know. Huh. The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot, and the police department's evidence room. He died in both places somehow. Very bizarre. Oh, what's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. You know, Whoa! I got that in my Google. Whoa! It's a prestige situation. It's actually twin brothers. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! Spoiler alert for an old ass movie. Anyway. <laughs> well, that's what we're gonna find out. Or, or try to, at least. Alright, let's do it! That movie not only had twin brothers, it also did have clones, which is wild. But what a good movie. What a great movie. Oh, that sounds confusing. Has ScarJo in it? Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Yeah? <laughs> yeah! Huh? <laughs> uh-huh! Look, we're in this together, right? Unfortunately. Pun unintended. <laughs> I'll prove that these thick-rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Yeah. They are connected to the worldwide interwebs! <laughs> like, they're... They're, they're x-ray glasses, and I can see straight down those trousers of yours. Let's go! Science awaits us! Uh, okay! I guess! Woo! I'm going to college! Yeah. It's like, sure, whatever small child come with me, I guess. <laughs> right? You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. That has nothing to do with our case at all! But, like, that was the real murder? So, like, shouldn't we investigate it? They, they just dumped- no. this, is, this was like a Absolutely setup murder. Not. Huh, weird about that. But the police department murder has nothing to do with my sister, so why should I care? Good point. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? They <laughs> moved in here! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah! It was only our victim that was killed in their evidence room. No pity, I guess. Victim. But what the hell, man? It was the same victim! Shit. And how did they know it was Goodman if both his ID and his body were found here? Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it! And she wasn't even in the evidence room. She called me! I know it! Oh, that evidence- that fucking oil drum. Was it empty? <laughs> <laughs> like the evidence room. Oh, look who the, it is! Hey! The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Yes! Oh, yes. One might say it was extremely wet. Oh, dear. <laughs> My sister erasing evidence at the crime scene? Never! Me? Doing this? Never! Never! Why would you think? Even though she says I don't get along, never really likes her sister. Something about <laughs> something about family being blood being thicker than water or some shit. Whatever the expression is, old drum full oh, of oh, water oh, or something. Uh, blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the room. Ah, there we go. It means friendship <laughs> is better than relationships by family. Oh, so it's the opposite of what I was just going for. Exactly. Like a lot of phrases. Jack of all trades, uh, is none. better than a master of one. Wait, no. Uh, so, something about jack of all trades, da 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 da, but better still than a master of one. Yeah, master of none. 
Yeah, yet master of none is better yet still than a master of one. That's the phrase. Linguistics. Anyways, yes, that's not it at all. And that's what we were just saying. Weird. <laughs> it's just, I know I took an English course over this. We're both professionals at what we do and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Remember, I'm going to college. Remember, chat, she's not legal. <laughs> I have a very high SAT score. Well, well, there was blood on the floor or not. The water in that old drum washed it all away. <laughs> what? Didn't I tell you that my Some... glasses have a black light feature? Somebody say something funny? I didn't hear a damn <laughs> joke even. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Fuck around to find out. The scientific method. Ew. Huh? What's that grid for? This situation calls for one thing, and that is lemon oil testing fluid. L L lemon oil? Huh? Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a water. You have to scrub that shit. Get your elbows into it. Yeah, per uh, per OSHA, whatever, you have to have a, a, a bleach water solution. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> you have to kill the blood cells. Yeah. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Hey, keep that black light the fuck away from my room. Thanks. Let's move on. Eh. <laughs> but wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Wait, no, they're no. incompetent. Never mind. Exactly. <laughs> Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Especially when the police are, uh, implicated in murder. Just give it a try. Hey, Cab. Me? What do I have to do? I didn't sign up for this shit. I'm not a scientist. I'm a, I'm a defense attorney. I don't want my fingerprints on it, and I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. Why are you? I'm an adult male. Get the hell away from me. This is weird. <laughs> weird. 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 I'm testing blood stains with this stuff, not drinking it. Either way, it's still weird. Continue on. Uh huh. Here, look. I'll lend you these glasses. I know I your head's a line. little bit big for them. However, I draw the line at putting on your kidney glasses. Huh? The kidney glasses? You had an extra pair of those things? Aren't they like oh. two hundred bucks a piece? What the shit? Like, why? You'll ah! look just as snazzy as the chief prosecutor. There you go. They say it's rose-colored. However, I prefer blood red. Hold on. To test for a blood reaction, just spray the luminol on it. Alexa code red. We're kind of there. My screens are too bright. Hold on. I have to fix this. I can fix it. Hey. I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. There's no mouse. All right, we went red. We're going red. Ew. Going red, folks. All right. right. We're in red vision. Let's do this. All right. Just spray the luminol on it. Like this, see? <laughs> Press the X button to spray it on. Where's the X button on this spray can? I don't see an X button. It's right on the trigger. Okay, let's find us some blood stain. Oh, boy. Uh... Gas. Yeah. Damn it. I can see your eyes shining behind those glasses. So, uh, this a, a blood stain? Uh, it's, it's so, uh, disgusting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure where you're going with this. Emma, you're, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. The blue shine of it all. I, are you, are you disgusted or are you horny? I can't tell yet. Although you are underage, so let's be very careful, Chad. I gotta watch this line. Walk this line. Uh-huh. Scientific investigation in action. Uh, okay. Well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. Disgust. All right, good. We'll, we'll go with that. But doesn't something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. No, I'm an attorney. 
What's odd about this? Scientifically. Perhaps it's... It's blue! <laughs> um... The amount, like maybe? Like your screen. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. Because if he was stabbed, wouldn't there be a lot more blood? Yeah, it's like the, the, the location's good. And, like, it's here, but like... But also, if they move the body here, then why is the... Anyway, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. The perpetrator and the de and her hand. Goodman fought here. Oh, that's where her hand got cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. Especially if you cut an artery. I mean, look at the bl look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. Change your things. If yeah. they fought here, there would have to have been a, a more blood than this, for sure. Are, are we doing the red thing? Are we, are we, are we done with that? Uh, uh hey, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna mark up the floor plans when we find a blood stain, okay? Okay. See, I'm pretty handy to have around, right? You'll at least put me in another game, right? Probably not. Uh, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy, too. Ugh. I saved up my allowance to buy that. Doesn't oh it make me better than some sort of spirit medium? Who believes in that, anyway? God, you're a child. <laughs> Luminol testing fluid received from one very proud-looking Emma Sky. Spray to use. Got it. Spray to use? Yeah. <laughs> we can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Then let's drag that hidden evidence out of the light of day. Hell yeah! It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? Hell yeah. <laughs> Guess I should give this a spray on anything suspicious. Like anything and everything that moves. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Oh, it's yep. Ah, uh, I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Ma'am, <laughs> she's a child. Everything she says. Everything. Uh. Alexa, lights on. All right. Back. Miss Star! How could you? At my age, no less! <laughs> you only trust your own eyes. Hmm? Not bad, you two. I had nothing to do with. This day old deli box is on the house. Kiki! What's up? Hey! Day old deli box? But, like, why though? <laughs> Sorry, it's just that, uh. That kind of leading doesn't really get my mouth watering, you know? The whole leading with day in just really doesn't do it for me. I'm kind of like... It's because you're a day late to figuring this out. Oh, what? Well, let's read the line first. Jesus, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but, uh... I like tight spots. No, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. <laughs> He's like, all right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to find out? I witnessed everything from that security room right there. But I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. He lied to the court. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Remember and the now whole, like, I'm going to take an oath, you know, tell the truth, yeah. that kind of stuff. And now I'm going to be convicted for perjury. How yeah. could they? Right. <laughs> sorry? You lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. 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 That's what you are. <laughs> huh. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. At your age. 
<laughs> no less. <laughs> Even if the place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. His blood was cold because he was already dead. Oh, thank Bam. you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Kiki, we got a hell yeah emote, by the way. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> ah. I swear it on my honor as a detective, she stabbed Goodman. She's not a detective anymore. <sighs> no, she's a lunch lady. Yeah. That shows how good she was at her job. She's a lunch lady now. Albeit a very sexy one. Very sexy. I know this photograph has something important to tell us. But what? Look at this graph. What? Where did the photograph come up? I don't know. Like, that was... Uh, it, it's been a couple weeks. I'm going to be real honest. But, like, nowhere in that conversation was there anything. It's like, I know this photograph's important. It's like, were you just... Were you just looking at a picture while she was talking? Like, what just happened? How, how did we get there? I think... I think it's because she took the photographs. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? But now you're not. Yes, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> no matter how hardened the criminal, when they faced me... Bleh, when they faced me... They got harder. Wait. A. They coughed it up. Mm, a. Coughed it up? They didn't cough it down or anything? Wait. They confessed. Ah, yes. I don't understand basic tropes. So good. They babbled like babies. So you couldn't understand them. That's what you're saying. Thank you, hand. You know, I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel, too. All right, so you're a switch. Moving on. <laughs> she is. <laughs> <laughs> I would She's like don't. a dummy mommy in the court. And, <laughs> yeah. then, and, then, and then a lunchbox princess in the security room. <laughs> like, whatever you pay me for, I'll do it. I don't care. Whatever. I'm down. Right. I wouldn't doubt it. You are a prostitute after all. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. What such weird phrasing. <laughs> right? Like translation be error? Hello? <laughs> and before long, they called me the Cough Up Queen. Right, right. Yep. <clears throat> oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. They were day old lunches. Uh huh. And with fish, no less. And, uh, you were let go? Uh, fired? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. Ah. Ah. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. Oh shit! That's what was on the night! Hey. Wow, it's all connected! Gasp. Like gasp. SL9! Ah! <laughs> what? What? Did I mean? What does it mean? Gasp! Quick, the guide. Pull it back up. What do I do next? Oh, oh. no, the guide! Fuck. Oh, oh, present her, present her with a note. Right, that's present what I figured, but I'm trying or to like. Uh... The knife. Look! Evidence! Yeah, I should wrong. be safe in a secure locker, however. Yeah, right. I carry Present. it on my person at all times. This. <clears throat> um, what do you think about this? The SL9 incident. I forgot this was my line. It's written on that knife. 
And on that note... <gasps> Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. It was Angel! <clears throat> she was... she did it! It was Angel all along! Yeah! Really? Really? That knife was evidence from that case. The murder weapon, as evidenced by the bloodstain that's still red when it should be brown. I know this because I cut meat all the time. It was due for transferal that very day that Goodman was killed. Transferal? As I suspected. SL9 isn't over. Not yet. Can you tell us more about the, uh, the SL9 incident, that silly old pace? You're going to have to click a button first. Great. Let's go ahead to talk, I guess. No, it's not that. I guess. What, what, do, what do I present now, anyway? Like, the uh, knife? The knife, maybe? Um, what do you think about this? The SL9 incident. It's written on that knife. And on this note. <laughs> and on this note. No! No! <laughs> oh, is it the same? Goodman. Okay, Goodman well, was the, the head same. detective on this, you know. Really? That night was really, it was due for transferal. As I suspected. It isn't over yet. But, like, now what? I don't know. Oh, no. <sighs> uh... Just talk about it, lady. Okay, the ID. Oh, okay. I had one of those up until two years ago when I was fired from my job as a detective due to the SL9 incident. Right. The SL9 Back incident. when you were the cough up queen, right? Right. <laughs> we found this ID card here in this parking lot. This underground parking lot, whatever the hell that is. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, there's no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman's. But, uh, it's the same idea as the man who was killed at the police department. Who would have guessed? That's impossible. That's what I would think. I wish I could be so sure that he could be murdered in two places at once. Yeah, whatever. But I'm not that smart, apparently. Um, and then... Which photograph? Was that the Look crime at photo? This graph. This if you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even I get flustered sometimes. So, you went straight to the scene of the crime. Hell yeah. <laughs> I rush towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime? Five minutes of me not seeing anything and yet being totally sure about what happened. Those five minutes are the whole problem. She was wearing heels get a power walk the whole way. She couldn't run it. Yeah, just power catwalk like you do. The hole in my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star. You lying was the problem. She said it. Listen, little girl, I've had my testimony disregarded before. Ah, oh, you're a woman, I get it. I know, and I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time, the SL9 incident. Oh my god, it's all connected. That, ah! that, what time could she possibly be talking about? Who what time? Guessed? Oh my god. Now can we talk about it? Present a crime photo. Talk to her again. There it is. Finally! There it Boom, oh there it is. That incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. 
We're nothing to them. Disposable. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Disposable? To who? To whom? Excuse me? To whomst. <laughs> to whomst. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago, it was the biggest case I'd ever handled. The biggest? You, anyway. The <laughs> biggest case. Hello. Look who's there. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. Yeah. I even had a different cap on, as it were. Oh, she wasn't a lunch lady back then. No, the onigiri did not fit. <laughs> it just made it topple off my head very unattractively. So, they didn't solve it? You didn't solve it, I must say? On the contrary. It was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Gasp. Executed? Mean that they killed dun, him? Dun, dun. Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was, they never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. What? Huh? But the criminal was executed, right? Without decisive, that seems kind of bad. A cap. <laughs> <laughs> On the basis of evidence of a sort. Made up evidence. The kind that the Innocence Project would love to get their hands on. Mm. It's a mm -hmm. beautiful baby. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. Oh, like her? No. Oh. Like me. And you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. Was it the marshal? Wait. Could it be? Possibly. <clears throat> exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. <laughs> she wants to talk. <laughs> she, she absolutely is like, right. Yeah, here we go. There you go, everybody. That's just... what Kohana says. Yeah, that's... Kohana means what? family. Family means... <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oops, I mean Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. What's up, Odor? Are you joining in too? Here's Hell the, yeah! Here's the kitten! Look at Kitty! Kitty! Baby! She's a muted calico. Oh. What's up? So bitsy. Huh? What's up? Little Bitsy. She's so pretty, too. She is. Very oh, he is. Yeah. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. And I do mean every angle. Oh. Jake was particularly determined. You can see it in this photograph of my memory. Right out of a pen thief. Yeah. And then it was over, and he was demoted. Mm. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9. The one we're, no. the thing we're talking about, you, that you've clearly defined why you hadn't, that one? Yes, there was another side to that case. A hidden side. That's what we're after now. It's all a conspiracy. Goodman was in on it. We were almost at the truth, and then yet again, he was murdered by Lana Sky. Yes. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait! Th those lunches you sell... They're poison! Oh my god! There's only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. 
I come here to meet old friends. Boyfriends that can help me investigate. Mm. Miss Star's old boyfriend. How many does she have anyway? She have room enough for one more? These are questions to keep me up at night. Ah. I do have an open relationship. Ah, well. Just when all the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. You get Stuffed in a muffler. There has to be a connection! So, Rookie. Huh? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yeah. <laughs> then you should take this. Uh, Salisbury steak lunch? I mean, I am hungry, but like... I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Yeah? Yeah. Getting off your marfle in a good mood. Oh, Hell okay. yeah. Of course the fucking Salisbury steak. Of course it is. Of course. Um, Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is he your... Uh, are you his? Y'all bumping uglies. Are you g g g going out? Do you like each other? Is, is it like 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 or? <laughs> Why do you want to know? You're too young for us. Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister. It made me jealous. Oh, they were like they could be a thing. I. <laughs> and he was nice to me too back then. This would be when uh, Officer Marsha was a detective. But now, now he's so cold and he doesn't call me anything but Bambina. Oh, yeah, I have, I a, about I that. have a name. Yeah. <laughs> he knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I... I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Alright. Okay. Anything else? Uh... You should take the mark need Marshall. That's the police department. Sweet. Yeah. Do we need to look for more blood, or it, are we done with that? It uh, doesn't say anything else about it. So I guess wow, we're okay. Good. All right, to Officer Marshall, it. we go. We need it for the evidence room, I'm going to bet you. Oh, that's fair. Uh, the police department. a map of the evidence room? Oh, the fucking, I forgot the little statue thing. Oh my god. What's going on? What's going on? Are you, are you twitchy? <laughs> One eye is twitching right there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. Wow, it's a uh, low frame rate, huh? Alright. Because it makes sense. The detective did get killed here after all. So, the evidence room. The scene of the crime, where all the evidence is. Right, Every the that, evidence. The one you said before you didn't care about or something. And now we do care right. about and, you know, yeah, that one. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk. Here it is. Like a kid in an amusement park. Whee! <laughs> oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. We were, we I bet were, it does loop-de-loops. Were we not just at a crime scene? Like, I? Sure. Uh, um, that was a slip of the tongue. It's, sure. This is, they're both real crime scenes. Obviously. There's no deeper uh, reason why Lana's covering for me. Entrance to the guard station. All right, cool. Well, let's go. I wonder who works here. <laughs> wow, look at this shit. We also have alcohol too, like, hello? 
I I feel like that's several job violations. Yeah, yeah, like oh well, they're above the law. Anyway, what's with the decor in this place? It's very uh eccentric. That's definitely a nice. I feel like we're in Texas. Yeah, right. Huh? Yeah. Everything's bigger. Hey, according to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. And Marshall was in charge of it. <gasps> Gasp! You got a big old eye booger, girl. Anyway. Oh, no. Your eyes water a lot. Poor baby. So, uh, beyond that door is the evidence room. The real scene of the crime. Ah! Ah! Yeah! It sure seems that way. Oh. Oh! What? What? What's wrong? Are you... Are not... What? It's those cacti! They're so prickly, it's so imposing! It's hard to think straight! Really? What? At my age, no less! <laughs> so confused! <laughs> if you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. <laughs> hey! Can't handle the cacti! What I want to know is, if this is a guard station, where is the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. Well, no fucking... I wonder who like, it could be. Who could it possibly be? Oh, weird. <sighs> Look at the fucking, like, lasso trap for the door. Oh my gosh, that's... that's weird. Look, on the floor, a lasso! Ah, like it's set up to trap something. Huh. A trap here? Wait, I know. Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here. But the lasso missed. I'm in college. <laughs> you sure have an active imagination. You're literally a chop. All right. So he's into traps. Take that down. Uh, oh, he's into traps, all right. Exactly. The evidence room is beyond that door. <laughs> let's just walk in. Yeah, no that, consequences. That, that's just sure. Let's just just do it. It won't open. Pump. You thought it'd be open, like there's a guard station and shit. I think well, we need I don't some know why to go it's closed. There. Walk straight into the lasso trap. Ah! <laughs> it gets pulled up to the ceiling. <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna leave you hanging. See, you. <laughs> hang in there. <laughs> hey. Welp. Is this fine? <laughs> Yipes! Those sure are prickly. They must be the real deal. I don't think that just one big one would be sufficient. <clears throat> It so would what be. do I know about cacti? These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're getting deep over here? How so? What the hell are you talking They're about? They're rigid and prickly. <laughs> Encased in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction. I, I know you can't hear it, but it's trying to do like this whole like very touching music moment. And it's like... <laughs> Come on a cactus right now. What? <laughs> Game. What the fuck? Encased in a cold, rigid blah. Just like her. I'm, I'm not so sure I see the resemblance. Your sister is a human being and this is a cactus. <laughs> huh. It's more of an attitude thing than a physical similarity. Oh, uh, again, attitude. This is a cactus. <clears throat> She's a human living being, like. Who has the attitude of a cactus? What attitude of a cactus? Particularly a jumping cactus. <laughs> oh, shoot shit at you, huh? Yeah. There's a security guard uniform hanging here. Just like every other security guard's uniform. It looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, a leather. What's that? Gimp suit. Hey. What was that called again? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Poncho? A punchy, a paunchy, a pinchy. I know a poochy. <laughs> well, wait, maybe that 
wasn't it? I'm not very well versed in cultural... It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information <laughs> myself for the time being. Science! So who gives a fuck? I ignored the humanities. <laughs> it looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It means it's recording. It says recording! Yeah. I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out of there. Yes. Yes. All right. Why don't we? Uh, move back to the entrance. Do what? No, no. Move. Yeah, back, move back to the entrance. Okay. Fine, I guess we can't do anything more here. Yeah. Right. Okay. This place is charged with frantic energy as always. Please. Huh? Wasn't that? If we know who it is, why is it question marks? Gumshoe! One steak lunch, please. Oh, oh it's you! Effective Gumshoe, eh? How did you know we had a steak lunch box? Now, no time for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. Uh, what I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. You mean the one we're specifically supposed to give to Marshall? Why don't you just show yeah. it to this man? Oh man! Aww. This is. So Why don't we just give him the lunchbox? I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. Poor guy. Man loves his food. I'd love a lunchbox too. Now is no time for despair. Oh, we gotta cut our criminal. We always need evidence. The criminal. You mean... You were about to stab in the police department evidence room, right, pal? Yes, we have, in fact. On the same day the detective was killed in the prosecuted parking lot, another detective was killed in the police department. Wow! Oh, and the perpetrator, do you have a suspect? Oh. Well, there was a suspect. It is a rest of them, in fact. Uh... Hell yeah. It was Marshall! That's why he's not here. <gasps> it's the biggest scan fuck. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy turvy. But Detective Gumshoe, uh, who was he? Listen, pal, all I know is I need me a steak lunch pronto. Standing around here talking isn't gonna fill my belly. You know, man after my own heart, I could also eat. <laughs> well, wait! Don't leave! Oh, he didn't. You want to know more? Just head on out to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figure he's down there having a good cry. Later. Oh. A good cry, huh? Ah. He ran off to the evidence room. Where is he going to get a steak lunch there? Well, this investigation is off to a running start. Is, is it, though? I'm, un I'm unclear. Uh, huh. okay. To the detention center. Oh, oh wait, we're, uh, here? Oh, it's for, you have to go back here first? That's dumb. That is dumb. Weird. I'm glad I have a guide up. I'd be upset. Right. How the hell, where do I go? <clears throat> Still, I do feel better about things. A little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess they did. Best to not go too far down that road right now. Things will just get confused. Wow. Ween? Ween? <laughs> Ween? Such a weird... What, what was that? What a weird way to, like, write that out. Ween? Right? Ween? Sir, that's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator? I, I'd say I was perpetrated against. So that's what I'd say. I'm just guessing it's him. Fuck, it's me, Six! Oh, me, Six! Oh, fuck! The guys whose voice really don't have nailed. Shit. Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> ah! Oh, uh, oh, hi, greetings, sir! <laughs> me, Six! 
<laughs> Miss Wait, Basics? I know who you are! Uh, excuse me, is it Mr. Edgeworth? Is anyone on the premises? I'm here, sir. I think we're close to the chief. Sir, I've got your report, sir. You're the Patsy! Officer Meekins! <laughs> so you're a guard here at the detention center? Uh, no, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm just a little lost patrolman, like a little lost limb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report? No, sir. I, how, how should I say this? Wait. Can you... Is it? Is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't. Did you? Will someone say it's like nouns or what? Like, did... <laughs> Portrait Officer Meekins reporting, sir. What? What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. What they twist. What the twist? What they twist. Gant, when did you get here? Sir! I'm a patrolman with General Affairs, sir! Sir! Ow! Ow! I can hear you fight, Officer Mickey, so you just blew out my eardrum. Jesus. I, I had some business that day, sir, and I went to the evidence room, sir! The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir! Look at me! So, normally there's a guard at the evidence room? That's right, sir, because the evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir! Now the security officer... No, it was not the officer Marshall, sir! Marshall! Who would have guessed? Th that's right, I have to glance at the security room monitor, sir! That's what I saw him, sir! The suspicious presence in the evidence room, sir! Suspicious person, sir! A suspicious person! Yeah! What the heck is this? Is he turned on right? What's happening? I'm... <laughs> this is upsetting to watch. So what happened then? <laughs> Don't ask me, please, God. That, that, sir, I I even think we won. I saw red, I blacked out! And when I came to, I was here in the detention center! How long were you out? Days? Weeks even? Hours? Minutes? Wait, but... Um, might I ask how the frick that happened, considering <laughs> the fact that you delivered a report after the murder already took place? You can't perp... What? That doesn't make any sense! Yeah, that's... What? He can't have killed Goodman, because he delivered the report about Goodman's death prior to passing... And the, because then you'd have to pa be passed out until he woke up in the detention center. But it, what? Unless there's more of him, like a real Mr. Musics. Could be. <laughs> Anyways, um, might I ask, what happened to your hand? I feel like this is a common thing now. There's two people, two hands. Sir, what? there was no one, no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand, just like Miss Scott. What right? a coincidence. It's a cult! What the hell's happening? Blood Brothers. <laughs> oh, Jesus, no. We're not doing that. No. What is going on? Yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. <laughs> it's like a mirror universe. What's happening right now? Alternate timeline. It's lines? the upside down. It is. Stranger things have happened. Which one are we in, though? Is the question. Ah! Uh, this is the bad place. Holy forking shirt balls. <laughs> this is the bad place. <laughs> Reboot again. <laughs> Jason figured it out. Oh, this one really hurts. <laughs> uh, first things first. Tell us how you hurt your head. Like, where you? You know what I'm saying? Or I guess not. We'll do the victim, I guess. Like, first Whatever things first. You want, the victim! Honestly. Uh, I don't mean to bribe, but uh, you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir! Please don't label me as some sample, but sir! You had to label me as material victim, sir! The label me victim! Uh, I would, but you happen to be in detention. 
and alive and well at, at, at that. So, I mean, you know. But the time line doesn't add up! <laughs> Did you know the Bacon Detective Goodman, like, are you, you buddies, or like, you know? Well, there was a stranger, a double stranger, but I'll tell you what's happening with the double stranger <laughs> So, uh, you didn't know it. Sir, I want to be trying to find a bottle of light down the circumference. Workbox, workbox, <laughs> small and square and dark. Workbox, oh, workbox. Just... Check out these cool fun locks. <laughs> really off parents. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? I stabbed you first. He, with my dick. You did say you. Oh, God. <laughs> At my age, no less. <laughs> right. So, I need to kill him, sir. No. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. Because what it's the me. shit? <laughs> I'm the one that's confused! The viewers! All of us! We're all confused right now because what the shit, game? And I've played this game before. <laughs> I technically remember kind of sort of how this ends. <laughs> but I don't know what the fuck's going on! It's like... Yo, can we get can we, the writer's room? Can we get them in here? <laughs> what the shit, guys? This is this is what you came up with. Really? Ah. Really? About your hand, though. Did that happen during the course of the crime, or like you just a dumbass? Well, you see, sir, I. <laughs> Don't you think you should just confess? But sir, 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 but, but, but sir, sir, but, sir, but, sir, sir, but, but sir, there's nothing you can do. <coughs> nothing you can do, huh? Sir, tell the truth, sir, what happened, sir? When the detective pointed to the knife from inside his heart, sir? And the next thing I knew was unconscious, sir? The next thing you knew you were. Huh? Cat baby. What's that? Huh? What's up? He's like, yeah, I'll put up with you, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. About that. Yeah, where's my mouse? There it is. Here. Gotta do some last night cat and chat. It's her. Hey. Is she? No, I went down. I was good blood for you, sir. Oh, <clears throat> she's going to sell this empty bed in the belt. Fuck. She. The, uh, the victim's body disappeared. Huh? What? How bizarre. Hum, that's some story. Well, then, what the shit do I do now? Well, uh, present the knife! Present the ID. Oh. Ah. Oh. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? You good? That's what? You mean you remember what happened? This. ID card? Exactly, I just showed exactly. it to you randomly. Huh? Ah. 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 I'm trying to make it like as unintelligible as possible. <laughs> just getting worse. <laughs> right. I better fry this one a little deeper. Ah, shit. Ah. Alright, he remembers things now. Ah, like try details. Ah, shit. You tell me what it is you do remember. Well, say, say a little lost troll, a little lost troll, a little lost lamp, if you will. 
Do you remember the time when you stabbed a man? Do you remember the <laughs> time you passed out? <laughs> Save the camera was in the over the truck. That's why you thought he looked suspicious, because you didn't know it. So I am the other Trump and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. So you have to take the government to show you his ID card. What a hard he do. That's what that's so hard to Not an ID card, huh? That's what? Not, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. This is a knife. <laughs> that's not an ID. That's a knife. Huh? <laughs> wow! Did you mess up your inventory again? What was that, Detective Goodman? What was that? That uh, viral? It's like, what you got there? A knife? No! Wow! <laughs> oh yeah. Did you? That guy is like almost 30 now seriously yeah there was a tiktok like they'll never remember me and he, then he showed that vine because he's the kid from the vine that's wild like almost 30. holy yeah. shit that's horrific ah oh, yes the onward of, of our inevitable deaths anyway right sir i i assure you i was flustered as you are right now you want to fucking bet right <laughs> so i whooped him oh sorry i no you so I whooped him and left at him. I whoop, whoop, <laughs> whoop. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Pointed a knife at him. <laughs> do you want to know sir? Do you want to know before they do unto you? That's terrifying. What? <laughs> it's so bizarre. <laughs> what happened then? It's on our family crest. Do you want to? Know <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Didn't you know he used to live in Westeros? It's like, how how does the Meekins clan have a do unto others before they do unto you? The whole Meek is in the fucking name. Like, what? Uh, well, they're kins of the Meeks. <laughs> uh. Well, well, my uncertainty went white. When I woke, I was here. Right. Poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Right. Wait, did he wake up to see his hand bleeding profusely in the evidence room or in the detention center? Wouldn't they have bandaged it before he woke up in the detention center if his hand was bleeding profusely? You would think. One might have asked. So, Officer Meekins, why is it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Yeah, please do. Please, lay it all out there of what we fucking know about this bonkers-ass case. Please and thank you. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim whom he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. It was a fucking imposter? Maybe. Oh, Maybe. shit. He's been dead this whole time. He got it. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. It's another fucking iron samurai thing. Steel samurai or whatever the hell that, that chapter was. Or was the, the he was wearing the, the, the victim's suit. clothes! Yeah! Shit. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died! That's it, sir! That's what I wanted to say! That is, I didn't say something along those lines! Huh? But you still ended up in here? You know what I just realized? That I think in the last case it was a parrot, and that voice I did for the parrot is very similar to Meekin's. <laughs> that makes sense. Like, what? Like, it's, it's very, like... Ah! It's, like yeah. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it goes to show. Squawk? Yeah, squawk? <laughs> it's all about the same thing that time! The taking good was definitely... That's what they said! But, uh, you don't remember the events clearly, though, do you, Sonny Jim? No! Jimmy's gone. But the, uh, the videotape is quite clear! Huh? Videotape? What the security camera! The crime! My crime! The crime! It's worse than It's there! It's me! It's on tape! What?
And huh. you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry, we really sorry, sir. I don't know what it. No, thanks. Uh, I have my own. It says defense attorney on it. Yeah. Well, I guess I'd better go check out the scene of the crime. Crime scene. Scene of the crime. The place where the crime happened. <laughs> scene where the crime happened. Crime boys, scene. Boys for Cusco. Cusco. Boys. <laughs> All right. The criminal affairs part. I guess. We can go straight there. Wow, thanks, game. Yeah, fuck. You're right. Bitch. <sighs> hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the chief of detectives' desk. It's police chief Gant, the one whose voice I sometimes have trouble with. Right. No pun intended. Right. And you're sure this is all, huh? You know what it means if there is anything missing. And then... I guess Chief is some random person? Uh, sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers. Lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, hats. Dog houses, outhouses, barns. <laughs> Under his seat cushion, behind his computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you will call me right away. Deal? Y yes, sir! We'll scour the place again, sir. Hold on, what's that fucking... What's that, uh, fugitive, um... Wasn't that from the... Let me see if I can find it real quick. Hold on. All right. Yeah, the... Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Our future has been on the run for 90 minutes. Average foot speed over over even ground, yada, yada, yada. I, what I want what I want out of each and every one of you is a hard target search of every gas station, residence, warehouse, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, and doghouse in that area. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. That's what Meal was just hell like. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's the fucking fugitive. <laughs> His coat pockets uh -huh. out, for whatever pockets, shirt pockets, drawers. Right. And hills, bee hills, <laughs> mole hills. Every hit house, outhouse, dog house. <laughs> Don't linger Iconic. too long in Iconic. the outhouse. There's creatures that live in the hole. When your work there is done, pull your pants up and run <laughs> if you want to be saving your soul. <laughs> Every time someone says outhouse, I, I just, I failed the will save that time. Nice, nice. The chief of detectives looks a little flustered. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so right though, my boy. How have you been? I swim much? <laughs> Why do you keep mentioning swimming? Oh, ho, ho, Chief Grant. Uh, reporting for duty, sir. Ha, <laughs> ha. Jokes. Huh. Why are you saluting him, Mr. Wright? Oh, I actually did? What, what the shit, right? <laughs> it was a joke. Huh. Weird. Weird indeed. Uh, is, uh, is Edgeworth gonna be okay? He was looking a little, uh, pale. Oh, uh, Worthy? Uh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an Inquisition. And no one expects those. Not the Spanish Inquisition! <laughs> Special with the fact Right? <laughs> yep, well, they've had no end of trouble with the boys since last year. You mean, the incident on Gord Lake? Where he went swimming? <laughs> it doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right, right, though? Von Karma, that was his name, not Martin Van Buren, who's an actual person from history. <laughs> Oh, with, the, with that ascot. <laughs> yeah. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40-year career. But in court, you fixed it so he was caught for forging evidence. Wait. I didn't do any wrong. He did forge evidence. I proved My name's Phoenix Wright, not Phoenix Wrong. <laughs> in any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, they'd do just about anything to restore their reputation. 
Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be very bad for a worthy. What? <laughs> Not for my idol! <laughs> It's downright odd, I tell you. They detect we're getting killed on their turf, too, I mean. There, Ben. The prosecutor's, I assume. Not like inside your own office here, you know? Yeah, about that. Yeah. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time, and that's what it says. No, it doesn't! What evidence is this anyway, huh? What kind of- Evidence that doesn't exist! Now, now, right? Why can't you give away all of our secrets just like that? And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive and I, I can't talk about it. Just wait until I get the cough-up queen set on you. <laughs> She'll suck your dick, dude. <laughs> She'll get you to cough up anything. <laughs> I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. The secrets I can't stand them. Oh, but really? you know, it's a full-time job just keeping the chief of detectives trapped shut. Oh, uh, the oh, gumshoe. He, was, oh, <laughs> he wasn't... He was the one you were picking on earlier? Yeah, you saw that? Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> Oops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Interfere in the investigation? Let's see if we can, uh, kind of discreetly ask him. Okay. <clears throat> uh, just let me, uh, slip you a little bit of this, uh, Bucks to lunch here. This guy? Uh, maybe? Oh, uh, sorry I had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Did we talk to this guy earlier? The chief dude? I, guess I we... don't know, he doesn't... He doesn't have a, like, character. Even Officer Meekins has a character, but the Chief of Police doesn't have a character? Come on. Yeah, right? Like, I just, I was trying to remember if we did, uh, I don't know. Maybe I did a voice for, I, I'm just gonna do my old voice and fuck it. Whatever. Well, uh, see over there? That's Goodman's desk. Uh, he wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not! Well, except for this, which I will randomly give you for some reason. What? You kept something? How dare you! Seminal. Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. What is it? It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. Huh. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? Was it the knife? The thing going on is February 21st. Better make a note of that just in case. Write that down, girl. Huh. All right, Al. 221. Wasn't that on something else we had? <gasps> yeah, yeah, the note that had SL97, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I should really get back to the to investigating the police department crime scene. So, like, what does that mean? Uh, go back to Officer Marshall's place. Uh, let's see. Talk. to Gant again. Okay. Oh. Okay, now we have permission. Okay. I guess. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Oh. <clears throat> well, I never thought the day would come when Raito asked me for help. I was wondering if I could investigate the evidence room. We, we, we. I'm right here. Oh, yeah, small child. Now, Raito. Actually, I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't need to investigate after all. My, my bad. Pussy. Raito, please. <laughs> do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow fifty dollars? I'd give them fifty dollars, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. And knock yourself out. It just goes to show, you never know until you ask, can I have $50? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. What? What? You just... So what? Close. What? <laughs> and for you, here, you can borrow this. Huh? Hey! 
this is a detective's ID card, isn't it? Oh, funny enough, we already have one. It's from the dead guy, so... Right! We're good. That's a special card for yes, so don't lose it. You have to turn it back in before you leave. Yes, sir! It's an honor! I give this to literally anyone. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. Wow, a special guest card into the secret e evidence room. <laughs> yeah, right? Like... Haha! <laughs> it looks pretty cool on my lapel, doesn't it? Just think, a real ID! I'll have one of those someday! Did you say lapel? Lapel! It's lapel. <laughs> lapel! There we go. Alright. <laughs> like your lapel pen? Like on your suit jacket? On your lapel! Yeah, your lapel. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> you seem, uh, happy. Like you can't say the word lapel, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Because, sir, uh, it's a lapel, actually. Uh, it's a it's a word I've only ever read in books. We have to get to the evidence room now, sir. Oh no, because lapel mics go on your lapel whenever you're speaking at something, and it goes on your jacket, right. suit jacket. Oh, see, I've only ever called those mics. Ah, yeah, you got lapel, and like a lapel pin goes on your little like suit. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Anyway. Uh, yeah. See, I've never worn a suit. There you go. There you go. So the more you know. Yeah. I don't know many people who do wear suits. Yeah, I mean, you know, I went to a conference and had to wear a suit. That's the only reason I, you know, whatever. Anyway, oh, I don't know, look at you, you're so fancy. No, no, I spoke at a fucking conference. You learned an exhibitor. SAT word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got caught up something the other day. I was sitting there like, what now? I was like, oh shit, I only read that word. Fuck. <laughs> like, you're right. Uh, there's more words yeah. than usual. Thank especially God. Especially when you're books. like an avid reader. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Well, there were some words that was like, I didn't realize that, uh, fuck, what was it? The, uh, getting married, but it's like running off and doing it. Elope. Oh, elope. Yeah. I didn't yeah. realize elope was specifically like to get, like to run off and do it. I was like, why are you saying like, can you just say uh, married? Like, no, no, that's to run off and do it. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, Got it. Oh, Different very than specifically. Right. Like defenestration is specifically killing someone by throwing them out of a window. We have a specific word for that. That's badass. So that's yeah, what happens in that, that meme. Word. The defenestration of Prague. <laughs> ah, interesting. 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 A lot of things happen in Prague. Uh, apparently. Sounds like it. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. A lot of linguistical bullshit going on in here. I might defenestrate someone. Oh, <laughs> Don't do <laughs> Uh, do we... To the entrance. Office. I'm just going to go to the office? Yeah. Lame? Uh... Right? There it is, okay. Cacti. If we... Can we... Oh. The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Grant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Uh-huh. The card reader is turned off, see? We need to turn it on. Oh, my God. What is that security guard thinking? Nothing arousing, apparently. What? <laughs> Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made that my bambina sky so gray? <laughs> Officer Marshall, why does it have to be like it could be anybody else? Like fuck, dude. Wait, we have lunch for you. <laughs> What's that? Why does it have to be him? Look for, eh? Uh, I know you're thinking it, punk. Did you oh feel my lucky? God. As you may have surmised, this here's my saloon. I drink here a lot. Yeah, we know you're an alcoholic. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. That card you got there on your chest. Not that I was looking at your Arnie. chest, but it's on your lapel. That's better than a sheriff's badge <laughs> in these parts. Yeehaw? Just an expression from where I'm from, which is Cleveland. Well, what you got standing there for? <laughs> Get along, little dog, is that crime scene's a week. Hi. Looks like the card reader's turned on now. While we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. What's up, Johanna? 
Scooch, scooch. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you, hombres. You're, you're busy then? Is that, is that what you, is that what you're saying? You're, you're busy? Is that what that meant? Did I say that? I, <laughs> I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. I'm busy drinking. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us, hombres. Well, you know the best way to a man's heart? Steak. Steak. Present the steak lunch to the man. Thank Present you. me your steak. Here's my meat. Enjoy. Hey! That smells. Ah! Uh -huh. Reminds me of Texas. Good job. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? Please tell me he's not. Please tell me he's not from Texas. Please, God. All right. Please. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Woo! He is from Cleveland. <laughs> well, hold on, man. I'm trying to do the thing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Make way. Make way. No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this from my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. Did you just say baby? Well, what's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch? I see, I see! It's code. It's, it's a what? <laughs> I don't see. I wonder what it means. I wonder what? who it's from. <laughs> All right, Bambina. You win. <laughs> ask, ask me any smack. Finally, it seems like a... He's willing to talk. Yeah, that's what I was thinking in my head just now. The fucking music is like very fucking music. <laughs> Beautiful. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good ears, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Are you? Actually, Officer Mick is the detention center, detention center told us. I'm, my ac your accent's loving off. I'm sorry, it's hard not to copy. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> Man. Oh. That poor little doggy. Poor guy, I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something, if I remember what it was. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. The fuck were you doing? Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detective two years ago, I drink a lot. Well, it might not look like it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. Can you just scroll my page over here, Kohana? What are you doing? She's, like, demanding you pay attention she to She absolutely her. is. She's like, what? So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Drink it. I already established that. Well, I reckon I was galloping. I fucking, oh. Oh, never mind. I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. At five in the morning? Note, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. Definitely not a horse. What? There's no need for people here, anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang-up job of keeping an eye on the place. But people still have to man them. You mean the security camera system? I don't take the machines much. Kind of like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your steak, you know? Dude, broccoli's good. No okay. cap. Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> 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 Miss Star told us something. <laughs> she said that you were a detective until two years ago, just like she was. And then you failed miserably. Oh, it's me again. My apologies. Yeah. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? Who told you that? Miss Star! That was my case. 
It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker, like whiskey and cheap cigars. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? And is that why you were demoted? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. Well, there are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, I have a name! <laughs> that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Because the guy's dead. Two days ago? The day of our case. They're going to oh close your case, so you staged the thing to make the case reopen to link it back to the other case. And... I'm so confused. That's right. The evidence transfers. And it's worth us talking about the transfers, too. What is going on? Nobody knows. Ah. I know what maybe two of the machines do in here. Uh, only two of them? There must be a dozen. The rest You're are very a... unqualified to be working in this position. The rest are a total mystery. Like I said, Bambina, me machines will. Uh, my name is Emma. I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower in my steaks. Stop. You've known me it's for pretty years. Good. It's pretty good. Good stuff. The easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. Security. Those are the ones that Man Officer Mickens mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. Oh, you reckon they might be? You're the security guard and you reckon? Right? You're terrible at your job. Terrible. Yeah, what are you doing? She, she's like, pay attention to me. One more <laughs> thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. Like the one that you have on your lapel. On your lapel? That's the card reader by the door. Yeah, we, we know. Oh. Ma'am. Oh, it's Dan. Ma'am. Miss Ma'am? The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. There it is, 584289. Five, yep, yep, that's the one. So five, this is four, the ID card record. I've always dreamt of it. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina, I can't show Anna. you more than that. Ma'am? Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Right, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Yes, it's Goodman's ID number. We all fucking know. Maybe there is some way I can prove that record is tied to the step. Oh my god, have you seen this card? Jesus Christ. Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transferal thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They're kept here under the presiding detective supervision for two years. Sorry, my cat's in my way. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault of the county sheriff's department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. Transferals like a funeral for old cases. Two years <laughs> after a case is solved, it's closed forever, dead. Never to be reopened it's a again. Cold case. Never to be reinvestigated. That's what they're solved, so it's usually fine. Uh huh. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. Eh. Well. <laughs> What did we do to show? We did it to show him something. We already gave him the steak. Oh, fuck. She scrolled my page. ID oh, card! I gotta look. Uh, fuck. A where? Card. Shit. Just give him the ID card. It'll be fine. 
present Goomin's ID. You're right. Okay. Yep. See this? This is the victim's ID card now that we've had our tangent. Oh, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. Right there. Look, the fourth number! It's a perfect match! It was used at 5 board right before the stabbing! Oh my god! Oh my god! What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So, when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. Hey, uh, unrelated by the way, can I see your ID card? Just, just wondering. Yeah, right? And it's like... Yeah, he was in the uh, in the room where he was murdered one minute later. That makes sense. He was Are in the surprised? room where it happened. The room where it happened. <laughs> the room where it happened. Sausage gets made. But what? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what did Officer Meekin say? Sorry, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing. It's only born and I beat me because it wasn't the same man. If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Mickens? To kill him. All right, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Sweet. <laughs> I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Guess. Oh my god. Do we need to show Officer Marshall? Okay. Now, to the evidence room. Away. Away. Okay. It's quiet. Too quiet. Or maybe just bum, bum, quiet bum. enough. Investigation must be over here. So this is the evidence room? It really is kind of like a graveyard. <laughs> Graveyard's supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Huh. Nice try, M Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. Oh, I wasn't trying. I'm just saying. You know. The fuck are you doing in here? Eek! Ah! I thought the game crashed. <laughs> I know, right? Sorry! I thought you were a ghost! A ghost! Oh no! shit, a ghost! Ma'am. 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 I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts in the head, pal. So, uh, is it true what I heard? What did you hear? Right though, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Uh, heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give them $50, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. To your desire, I should say. Knock yourself out. Who desire? Ooh. Yeah. It's true. Ma'am. <laughs> she will not leave you alone. She's like, has no one redeemed treats? What the hell? <laughs> so, Chief of Police Grant. Oh, uh, we will loan anyone 50 bucks? Even me? That's your takeaway? I, well, I, I actually asked and he wouldn't give me 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I literally asked right after he said it and he, oh, he's no. a liar. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so that's what you were talking about. Actually, I, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Uh, oh, really? Just, uh, just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? Uh, you got permission from the chiefs. So now you're boss for a day. What? Gee, thanks. All this, how this works. You literally just got a card. Damn. What are you doing? Huh? Gooch. Gooch. Trying to speed my this mic around. Ma uh, first of all, you you have to have this. You want to have this. You want it. You want it. Yo, floor plans? Hell yeah. Shows where the stabbing happened. 
the blood. The blood that is blue. Um, let's see. You'd think a police station would use the bleach solution, but apparently they don't. Yeah, right. So, Detective Gumshoe, you're the boss for the day? Well, that's right, it's an honor. After Look all, the murder, that. murder took place right here in the police department. Wow! Wow. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? Wow, way to be mean. Uh, they're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. Uh, in other words, you got kicked out of the investigation. Again. Why do they keep doing this to you? That's so rude. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? Ah, uh, of course! I am a detective after all. They gave me a locker that only I could open, pal. Only you can open? So only Goodwin, Goodman could have lo opened the SL9 locker then. Because it was his idea in his case. Mm -hmm. I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the Inquiry Committee now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess-up in court today. Well, I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. Oh my god, please, please get it. The cat can't get away from your case either. <laughs> it's no joke. Ma'am, what are you doing? Huh? That, uh, that case? Yeah, that case, the SL9 incident, of course! Edgeworth, too? That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. What? <laughs> what the fuck's going how on? Many, how many of us are involved? <laughs> hey, are you involved in SL9? <laughs> uh, Am I involved in SL9? SL9! Uh, <laughs> so nice. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. Ah, shit. Shit. Uh, scooch. Ma'am, scooch. Oh my god. Yeah, please. Go on. This place is more high tech than you might think. Every lock is fixed so that only one thing can open it. Using their, uh, their ID card, right? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since they're in the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Unless someone cut it off. Well, they're all bandaged. They got cut. <gasps> that's right. Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. Lock for each locker is cut with a fingerprint. So the only locker we can open is our own. Oh. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles. See? The handles? Ma'am. On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong person touches it... Zap! You get a shot! If that's what happened, my hand will be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about their fingerprint locks. Interesting. Huh. Weird. Okay. Okay. Present Goodman's note. Okay. Goodman's note. Oh no! Like one of the like, okay, one of these. All right, we present the knife too. Detective Goodman's note and that switchblade knife. I bet Edwards was the most surprised of anyone. Because the SL9 connection. That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But uh. Huh. Why would evidence from that case turn up now? 
I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Okay. Um. Fuck, where are we? Okay. How do you you further? Okay. Now all of a sudden he has more dialogue, of course. All of a sudden. Yep. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. I'm not much of a serial kind of guy. More of a big with cream cheese, you know what I'm saying? Mmm, that sounds real good right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We'll take a break here in a minute. You can grab a snack. Cool, cool, cool. But the uh, the killer was made a mistake, and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab it. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. <gasps> Rumors? About forged evidence? It was supposed to be all, all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, you see. So... So, that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the, of, uh, the evidence locker himself. Which can only open my good Uh-huh. Huh. Could you take a look at this with your eyes? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Not the stabbing. I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Wow. Whoa. 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 What, what is it? The, 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 that second <laughs> number. Whoa. It's not. Your ID number isn't Detective Gumshoe. I bet it is you lose your card all the fucking time. Oh my gosh, you're probably right. Mr. Edgeworth! Oh, what? Sh shit! What? What? <laughs> what is going on, Edgeworth? Second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. Ah! What? What? <laughs> I feel like that's all she says at this point. Yeah. <laughs> what? Why would Edgeworth have come into the evidence room? What the shit? Holy okay. fucking okay. shirt boss. Holy fucking shirt boss. Okay, but what if his ID was stolen? And, okay, okay, listen, listen. All right, what if Goodman was really there? And, because that, cause that would be the only way they could get the evidence out of the locker. And then someone had stolen Edgeworth's ID because they're setting up to frame him, right? Mm -hmm. And so they go in dressed as Goodman, and Goodman leaves. And so they leave the room after and run into Meekins. I'm so confused. I I have no idea. I genuinely have. I'm, not, I'm like this laid out for me. I'm not going to try to put the pieces together yet. I'm just I'm like just just tell me, just tell me. <laughs> someone left a glove here. But only one, and if it fits, they must acquit. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hehe. <laughs> Protect gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal, making me to be out some kind of absent minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know? You mean, uh, SL9? I mean, it doesn't have a tag that says SL9 on it, obviously. This rubber glove, time to bend over, friend. <laughs> bend over and cough. Haha! <laughs> Shit. Uh, let's see. Choose check it out closely and put the pieces together. Do what now? Pieces of what? shit on the ground. Huh. Wow! Someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Take the gum shit. Stop picking on him. There you go, pal. Make me out some kind of hooligan. I'm pulling from the case. The case? The SL9 incident, pal. Do you see the sticker on the one of the pieces there? 
Wow, it's like there's only Not one incident that we're really talking about. Of, uh, SL9 evidence? Let's take a closer look. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? <laughs> good luck, pal. It's no job for amateurs. Why, I spent no, a good a three hours on that before, before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Yeah, you helping it? Uh, maybe. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. I would recognize the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Hey. Let's make it spell Amy. <laughs> oh no, I have to do this? Oh shit, oh, actual no. gameplay. <laughs> no, what, what happened to my visual novel? What the shit? Oh, oh no, you actually God. have to do something. Uh, 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 oh, hey, look, there's blood. I don't, I don't see All what right. matches this necessarily. Maybe this one, if you turn? Yeah. Rotate Try. Left, rotate right. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. Okay. That looks, if we rotate. No. No. Um. Ma'am? It like, ch my mind's like. I don't understand. It like, it's like, when I rotate something, it changes. I'm like, that wasn't what I thought it was a second ago. Right? Like, fuck you. Uh... Maybe? No. No. So I thought this, maybe this is it? This is it. No, maybe. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay so this one's gonna be this. Yeah. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be this one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then... Not that one. What about this? The one beside it? Maybe. No, okay, never mind. Um... No, that's on the other side. That one. There you go. Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Um... Right? No. No, no, no. Um, it's gotta be... Wait, do what? I thought it. Uh. It didn't look like it fit, but I was like, maybe this is it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, weird. Spinner. There you go. It's missing a piece. Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in like two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. I have a problem is finishing. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, uh, it does, doesn't look like the most stable kind of jaw. No, I don't. I kind of understand how it got broken. A little top heavy there. Yeah, right. Unstable jar. Weird. Weird. Okay. Oh, we got that fucking jar. Hey, oh, there's a handprint. <laughs> the guide literally tells you which piece in order to put in. Like, oh, chill out. And we did not pay attention to that. <laughs> no, that, that's no fun. Right? Like, fragment five, four, six, one, eight, three, two, seven. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh. It's time to go code red. Uh, to do I present the ball or what? Yeah, why not? Spray to use. Present. Let me just say. Let me say one thing. Speaking as a detective, if I see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I say nothing. Nothing. That's 
fine. You bet it's fine, pal. So wait, how do I, wait, how do I use this then? Spray to use, right. Like, how do I? Oh, X. Like, I think maybe you click X. How do I spray oh. to use? Handprint? Um, options. No, that's definitely not it. Uh, port record. Maybe now I can use it? Yeah, because you're not presenting spray. it. There you spray, just... spray, spray. There you there go. Okay. Alexa, code red. All right. Noise. Go red. Go spray. All right, handprint. Blood. Ooh. That must have been one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. That's a lot of blood. I'm not a professional. Uh, what's your opinion, detective? Yeah, pale blue blood. It's a monster. Is it Goodman? Was it actually an alien? Dun dun dun. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plan. Oh, hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Yeah, okay, dude, whatever. Alright, so there's still... So, so you wanna... Please? Let me? Please? Please. I knew it! This is someone's right hand print. Mm. What? <laughs> What's the matter, detective? Th this locker, it's mine. Oh shit. How dare they? It's yours? Oh shit. Please. See, this is why you're being kicked off the investigation. You have to help me when they come to take me away. Promise me you'll testify I wouldn't have a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. What? <laughs> Gumshoe. What? You know what? <laughs> you know what you're saying, Gumshoe? What? But you're a detective. Well. blood on the scene of the crime. What about where Mr. After Officer Meekins got his hand cut? Oh, egad. Oh, egad. I... Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. Except this just might be something significant. And it also was cleaned up, so someone was trying to hide the evidence, but they forgot to use bleach. Oh, hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. <laughs> Do the cops not have this? Uh, what? This? This is basic, <laughs> basic crime scene stuff. Right? It's called luminal testing fluid. I can't believe that you, a detective, didn't know about this. It's scientific. Where'd you get your hands on that? It was in my bag. Huh? Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Huh? <laughs> I had to get some, too. Whoa. Wow. I was born 50 bucks from the chief. Fucking classic, dude. Where do you get oh. this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Hey, pal, look at the time. Oh, uh, what? Oh, uh, is there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm gonna go give him my report for the day. It might help, you know. Re report You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? <laughs> The one that says nothing but mo problems, mo money, mo bitches, whatever, no problems, whatever, something. Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure they can use a report like this. I really? believe in him. 
Okay. Alexa, lights on. Okay. Dude, yeah, and... when you got friends like to take a gumshoe, huh? Right. I'm off, pal. Later. Yeah, when I was like, whoa, earlier, my cat had come into my recording booth, and I've got a bunch of quilts set up, you know, to yeah. sort of like deaden the sound. Mm -hmm. And she knocked over two of them. Oh, damn. That's definitely a whoa. Yeah. Kafan's over here bugging me again. They love us too much. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. All right. Was it a quick break? All right, quick break sounds good. Yeah, you need to get some more to drink. I'll get my little stuffed up here anyway. I'm talking so much. Ah! Ah! All right, I'm gonna put on a ten minute timer. We'll be back in a minute. And uh, cool, 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 All right. cool, cool. See you here then. Yep.
Right, there we go. Mic on. Hi, I'm back. Okay. Whew. I'm grabbing a quick snack myself. I'll pop it on cat cam for a second when we get back and I'll put some treats out for him. Then we'll roll nice. back into it. Okay. 